Follow my social media. I'm on them now. YouTube versus TikTok. So there's this boxing event coming up where it's going to be a bunch of YouTubers versus a bunch of TikTokers. Now I must admit, I actually do enjoy when YouTubers box. I know a lot of people make fun of it, and I also do as well. It is fun to make fun of, but it's just enjoyable to watch. You just have a bunch of friends over and sit down and just enjoy it. But now we have YouTube versus TikTok. If I were to be honest, I haven't been paying much attention to it, but I decided to look down, look at the YouTubers, look at the TikTokers, and I'm going to give my predictions on who I think is going to win. Because the fight are actually tomorrow, June 12th. So I'm gonna make my predictions and see how many I can get right. Tanner Fox, which is on the YouTube side, versus Rylan Storms. I know who Tanner Fox is, I don't watch his stuff at all, and you could not pay me to know who the other guy is, Rylan Storms. I know I should probably look at some footage of them sparring, but honestly, just looking at that guy's face, I'm going with Tanner Fox. I think he's gonna win, even though I don't even care. Tanner Fox actually said himself that he's just in it for the money anyway, so they don't even care. Alright, next up we have FaZe Jarvis, YouTube versus Michael Lee, which is on the TikTok. Michael who? Okay, this actually can't be real. The Michael Lee guy has over 48 million followers on TikTok, and I've never heard of him in my life. And I'm sure a bunch of you haven't either, unless if you did and I'm just stupid. Again, I don't know anything really about both of them. I don't know FaZe Jarvis, I don't know Michael Lee, but just looking at the both of them, I'm going with FaZe Jarvis. DDG on the YouTube, I guess, I don't even know who that is, versus Nate Wyatt. Who? I never even heard of DDG and he's on YouTube. And Nate Wyatt, I, you couldn't even pay me, I don't know. I'm gonna be very professional, you know, I'm looking at them both. Yeah, I think DDG's gonna win. I'm trying to make this video where I like give predictions without seeing any sparring footage. All I'm gonna do is look at them and see who I think gonna win. And we'll see if I get it right. Okay, now we have a Nissan Gib versus Taylor Holder. If you don't know who Gib is, he's the guy that got beat by Jake Paul. And Taylor Holder, all I've heard from him is that he's actually good at boxing and he's a TikToker. I mean, it's kind of hard to say only because Gib lost. He already lost. But I'm just gonna go crazy and say Gib's gonna win. Why? Because he's YouTube. The other guy actually doesn't look too bad. I've seen some of his stuff actually before, like boxing or whatever. But why I think Gib's gonna win, I can't even give an answer. He lost to Jake Paul, but I'm still just gonna root for him, I guess. All right, now we have Ryan Johnstone versus Cal Surridge. Who are these people? Literally put in the comments if you know any of these people. I have no idea. Half the people fighting on this thing, I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna go with Ryan Johnstone. Come on, dude, don't let us down. We're all rooting for you. Even though we don't even know who you are. Okay, next up is Landon McBroom versus Ben Azalart. Who and who? I never watched one of their stuff a day in my life. But here we go with a big surprise. I'm gonna go with Landon McBroom on the YouTube side. I mean, all these TikTokers do is just dance around in a little circle. So I wanna see him get dropped. Let's go. Deji or Comedy Shorts Gamer versus Vinny Hacker. Deji is someone I actually do know who he is. Now he's on the YouTube side. He's the brother of KSI. He's another person though that lost against Jake Paul, but that was way back in 2018. So he could be a lot different now. And Vinny Hacker, I don't know who this guy is. Okay, well, it looks like Deji likes McDonald's. I'm joking, calm down. In boxing, it's not always about having a good physique. I mean, there's been fights in the past where people have won and they're not like in shape, like abs and all. So I'm going with Deji. I think he's gonna win. And he's actually got the closest to winning against Jake Paul out of any other fighter. And now we have the main fight itself, Austin McBroom versus Bryce Hall. Now, to be honest, I really just don't like Bryce Hall at all. I just always see him around and he's just so annoying. And Austin McBroom from the Ace family, I don't watch at all. Now, yes, I do want to say Austin McBroom's going to win because he's on YouTube, but Bryce Hall, I like... I don't think he's gonna be that good, but also McBroom's not really that good at boxing either. So this is probably the most challenging one to pick from, but if I had to pick one, I'm gonna go with Corinna Burger. I'm gonna win. Yeah, that wasn't funny at all. I'm just gonna go with Austin McBroom. But if I'm wrong, poopy. Well, there you go. Those are my predictions for the fight. Let me know if you're gonna watch it. I might, it just depends. Or I might watch some reruns on YouTube. But those are my predictions. I know I picked literally every YouTuber, but I actually do think they're all gonna win. That's it. Thanks for watching and see ya. Bye.